Senator McCain, for you, we have our first question from the internet tonight. A child of the Depression, 78-year-old Fiora from Chicago. Since World War II, we have never been asked to sacrifice anything to help our country except the blood of our heroic men and women as president. What sacrifices, sacrifices will you ask every American to make to help restore the American dream and to get out of the economic morass that we're now in? Well, Fiora, I'm going to ask the American people to understand that there's some programs that we may have to eliminate. I first proposed a long time ago that we would have to examine every agency and every bureaucracy of government, and we're gonna have to eliminate those that aren't working. I know a lot of them that aren't working. One of them is in defense spending, because I've taken on some of the defense contractors. I saved the taxpayers $6.8 billion in a deal for an Air Force tanker that was done in a corrupt fashion. I believe that we have to eliminate the earmarks and sometimes those projects, not, not the overhead projector that Senator Obama asked for, but some of them that are really good projects will have, will have to be eliminated as well. And they'll have to undergo the same scrutiny that all projects should in competition with others. So we're going to have to tell the American people that spending is going to have to be cut in America. And I recommend a spending freeze that except for defense, veterans affairs, and some other vital programs, we'll just have to have across the board freeze. And some of those programs may not grow as much as we would like for them to. But we can establish priorities with full transparency, with full knowledge of the American people, and full consultation. Not done behind closed doors and shoving earmarks in the middle of the night into programs that we don't even, sometimes we don't even know about until months later. And by the way, I want to go back a second. Look, we can attack health care and energy at the same time. We're not, we're, not, we're not rifle shots here. We are Americans. We can, with the participation of all Americans, work together and solve these problems together. Frankly, I'm not going to tell that person without health insurance that I'm sorry you'll have to wait. I'm going to tell you Americans, we'll get to work right away. And we'll get to work together. And we can get them all done, because that's what America's been doing. Senator McCain, thank you very much. Senator Obama. You know, a lot of you remember uh, the tragedy of 9-11 and where you were on that day and, uh, you know, how all of the country was ready to come together and make enormous changes uh, to make us not only safer but to make us a better country and, and, a, and a more unified country. And, you know, President Bush did some smart things at the outset, but one of the opportunities that was missed was when he spoke to the American people, he, he said, uh, go out and shop. That wasn't the kind of call to service that I think the American people were looking for. And so uh, you know, it's important to understand that the, I think the American people are hungry for uh, the kind of leadership that is going to tackle these problems, not just in government, but outside of government. And let's take the example of energy, which we already spoke about. Uh, there is going to be the need for each and every one of us to start thinking about how we use energy. I believe in the need for increased oil production. We're going to have to explore uh, new ways to get more oil. And that includes offshore drilling. It includes telling the oil companies that currently have 68 million acres that they're not using, that either you use them or you lose them. We're going to have to develop clean coal technology and uh, safe ways to store nuclear energy. But each and every one of us can start thinking about how can we save energy in our homes, in our buildings. And one of the things I want to do is make sure that we're providing incentives so that you can buy a fuel-efficient car that's made right here in the United States of America, not in Japan or South Korea. Making sure that you uh, are able to weatherize your home or make your business more fuel-efficient. And that's going to require effort from each and every one of us. And the last point I just want to make, I think the young people of America are especially interested in how they can serve. And that's one of the reasons why I'm interested in doubling the Peace Corps, making sure that we are uh, creating a, a volunteer corps all across this country that can be involved in their community, involved in military service, so that military families and our troops are not the only ones bearing the burden uh, of renewing America. 
That's something that all of us have to be involved with, and that requires some leadership from Washington.